So you want to assassinate some Templars, do you? That's right, we've got tons of Assassin's Creed news to go over, including brand new details about the Assassin's Creed movie coming out in 2016. And of course, brand new side activities, tons of new stuff about Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So as always, use the video guide down in the description below to skip ahead to the info you seek. So here he is, guys, Michael Fassbender as our brand new assassin. Now, this movie is going to be coming out December 21st, 2016. I am loving the look of this, guys. I mean, they have nailed down the accuracy with the actual costume, the uh, assassin outfit to the T. Now, as Yahoo tells us, Fassbender's character was created specifically for the film. The movie isn't retelling any of the existing games, but rather introducing new characters into the same world. Awesome. That is really good news to hear in my opinion, simply because uh, Assassin's Creed can get a little bit convoluted. I hope they, uh, you know, really have this more understandable, something that you can actually, you know, go away from the film, talk with other people and go, hey guys, I understood what actually happened in an Assassin's Creed storyline. Uh, but from what I have heard, you will be seeing modern day in uh, the movie as well. So Yahoo goes on to explain that our main character is called Lynch. And he goes on to discover he is a descendant of the secret assassin society. Through unlocked genetic memories that allow him to relive the adventures of his ancestor, Aguilera. I hope I got that right. In 15th century Spain. So now we have a time frame and a location. Also, it goes on to say, after gaining incredible knowledge and skills, he's poised to take on the oppressive Knights Templar in the present day. Mm. So yes, Michael Fassbender is known for his role in Prometheus and also in Glorious Bastards, one of my personal favorite movies. So it's really good to see him get such a star role like this in Assassin's Creed. And hopefully we get a badass game alongside it that somehow ties into the story that is being on offer on the big screen. It would be nice to be able to, you know, watch an epic Assassin's Creed movie and then experience its characters and world in an awesome Assassin's Creed game. So mark your calendars, everyone. For December 21st, 2016, I will be sitting in theaters right alongside you celebrating Assassin's Creed in the movie theaters. So what do we have here? It appears the Assassin's Creed official website has updated us with brand new information about the game, including side missions, locations, and weapons. You can find it all in the description below, but if you want, sit with me, relax, and enjoy the information, because we've got bounty hunting missions. It goes on to say the crooks in the city are growing faster in number than the police can handle. We help them with the most wanted criminals. They stay off our backs. Now, another mission you can expect is Templar assassinations. I think that's pretty much self-explanatory right there. You go and you hunt down the worst Templars in the business. Strongholds are of course going to be playing a big role in this. I miss them in AC Unity. I'm so glad they are back. So you go after a gang boss who's hiding out in a stronghold, you take it down and you take it over. Also, liberations will be a part of the game. That sounds awfully familiar to Assassin's Creed 3. Freedom must be enjoyed by all. We will ensure that by hook or by crook. And then finally, the big one. This is the big showdown. It is the Gang Wars. It says, once we've stirred things up, it's time to deal the final blow and take out the gang boss running each of the town's boroughs. Our reward is the loyalty of the city. So it sounds like you're going district by district, taking on every gang in London and spreading your power throughout and then also gaining followers as you do it. But let's say you want to break off of killing people. Well, there's no such things in London because there's fight clubs. This is pretty cool. I cannot wait to do this. This scene right here reminds me so much of Sherlock Holmes. So I am a huge fan of the Sherlock Holmes films. And then the big one, train robberies. I am so glad they are really implementing the train so much in this game. I felt like Red Dead Redemption failed miserably at this. So it's really cool to see that they are actually including train robberies for once. But we've also got street races that you can do and then cart escorts. I spoke about escort missions previously, I believe. I didn't really know what they could be, but in these dangerous streets, the wealthy will pay a pretty penny to ensure their secrets are secure. 
so it sounds like you will be guiding along someone and protecting them throughout their journey. And then of course we've got all the weapons, you guys have probably seen them, we've got the cane sword, this thing is badass, cannot wait to play with it. The throwing knife has returned, brass knuckles, revolver, kukri knife, hallucinogenic darts, smoke bombs have returned, assassin's gauntlet, which is going to be pretty cool, and there you have it for the weapons so far. Then they show off some of the vehicles in the game. Of course, we're going to see steam engines, horse-drawn carriages, and riverboats. And, of course, the rope launcher. I think you guys know a lot about that stuff. And then we have the seven different boroughs offering their own cultures and unique way of living. As you go through them, you will see a different tone and a different feel, which I love. Of course, you have the city of London, which is going to be the heart of the game, I believe. As you can see, the streets are crowded with those carriages. And then Westminster, beautiful location. We have more uh, trees here and more greenery, as you can see, very wealthy location. And then the Strand, this is where the locals do their shopping and travel across the city. So it sounds like you're going to be accessing your trains through here. Don't forget about Buckingham. As you can see, it's going to be bustling with those horse carriages. And there is the entry to the train station. And then, of course, we have our more poverty-ridden districts. As you can see here, life is tough. So Whitechapel looks to be a very depressing area. As you can see, it looks doomy and gloomy. You don't want to be living by a very loud train, do you? This is where a lot of robberies will be happening. Now, Lambeth is being described as a location that is bustling with shops and people that are mingling. It's very prosperous. It looks like things are looking up for these people. A lot of you were wondering about outfits. Are they going to be like Assassin's Creed Unity? Will you be offered, you know, a chess piece, gauntlets, that sort of thing? Well, it looks like it's going back to the days of Assassin's Creed 2 where you get one piece. We see our first look here at a variety of outfits for our main man, Jacob. Looking pretty cool here, as you can see him standing with his cane sword. It looks like he needs to be making money in this shot. He's got patches on his leg and everything, but it sounds like there's going to be a wide variety of outfits on offer. So it looks like Evie Fry knows how to look good. She is the fashion queen of the assassins. I really do like her outfits, by the way. And it's so cool that Jacob and Evie are twins. As you can see here, she also has that rough, gruff look in some of her outfits. But she also does have those more bright, vibrant colors. This looks like an outfit that you would probably get midway through the game. That's going to be my guess. This is probably the one that I'm going to be rocking through the city of London. Let me know what you guys think who do you prefer evie or jacob whose look are you more attuned to wow a ton of news today about the assassin's creed universe we had assassin's creed movie news i mean look at this dude he just looks badass this movie is coming out december 21st 2016 and of course cannot wait for assassin's creed syndicate as you can see here it just looks so badass and it's really polished i got a chance to play it at e3 uh, 2015 cannot wait for it but guys stay tuned for more assassin's creed syndicate and assassin's creed news right here on Oak world games thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time